For today's video, we're going to look at Meadow Goldenrod, made by Homer Lachlan from the early 1930s into the early 1950s. Meadow Goldenrod is a name that was not used by the factory or any of the retailers or distributors of this uh, decal. It was named by Richard Ratcheter. When it appears on Virginia Rose, he used that name in his Virginia Rose book. So a lot of collectors use that name, so I will use it here, Meadow Goldenrod made up of pink and purple cosmos flowers. Very colorful, stylized decal. First appears on the Yellowstone shape. This is the Yellowstone casserole. Two sprigs, a large one and a small one, with green edge line. We have the treatment number, Y137. This piece is dated 1932. So that's the first use of this decal. And then it immediately goes on to other shapes. And I have a list with 27 instances here. Some of them are Yellowstone, we have Wells, Century, uh, Ravenna, Virginia Rose, Marigold, Orleans Liberty, and then T. Rose, Chelsea, and Republic. These last three I don't have the official treatment numbers for. There's a couple things I want to go over, particularly when it comes to Century and Virginia Rose. We see here on these three, JJ52, Century shape, two sprigs, no trim. So there's no edge, there's no gold, no platinum, no green, no black, no other color. So JJ52, that represents J.J. Newberry stores, five and dime stores. So that was an exclusive for them. Then we have C-178, Century Two Sprigs, No Trim. So this comes a little later, and this was for the general trade. And the reason why we have two different treatment numbers for these is because J.J. Newberry stores would have had their own contract with Homer Lachlan that specifies the assortments and the pricing and everything else, whereas C-178 would be part of a scale uh, that anybody who wanted to carry this would have gotten different terms and condition and pricing. So that's one reason why we have these two different treatment numbers for the same shape and same pattern. Then we have C-268, which is century, two sprigs, no trim, but there's the added condition that it's thirds. So it's of a lesser quality than the other two. So C268 might have crazing, might have kiln dirt, might have a chip under the glaze or some other imperfection. So it gets priced differently than these two. So this is how you can have multiple treatment numbers for the same pattern on the same shape decorated the same way. Now fortunately this does not occur that often. Usually it's limited to patterns in the late 1920s and early 1930s. We see it again with Virginia Rose. We have VR-135, Virginia Rose, two sprigs of meadow goldenrod with no trim. And then we have VR-336, Virginia Rose, two sprigs, no trim, but third quality. So again, there's an issue with respect to the grade of the wear. So VR-135 is going to be a higher grade than VR-336. So same pattern, same shape, same method of decoration, but two different treatment numbers. Again, that does not happen very often, thankfully. We also have an issue here of a reassignment going on. So we have RV22, Ravenna, one sprig, no trim. And then we have RV1043, Ravenna, one sprig, no trim. So they're, they're number 13 and number 15 are actually the same. It's just that the treatment number was reassigned. That happens quite a bit with the Quaker shape. When I do a video on Quaker, we'll look at that. But you see there's a wide array of shapes and different numbers of sprigs, different types of trims. Some have gold, some have black, some have platinum. So this was heavily used, this decal. So we'll look at a couple examples. There's Ravenna with its heavily embossed rim. Fluted Verge, comes from 1932. Ravenna Open Sugar, these are also made with lids, so you could get them two different ways. Covered sugars are much more difficult to find than the open sugars. 
Ravenna Creamer. T Rose. This is a shape that was made for Quaker Oats. Very similar to the uh, Tango shape. Two sprigs, no edge line. This comes from 1940. Liberty. Pretty common on the Liberty shape. Two sprigs and gold edge line. Virginia Rose. This is rather late. This one's 1949. Though the pattern does extend into the 1950s. You will not find 50s shapes with this pattern. Like you're not going to probably, I should say probably not going to find it. I hate to say for certain. But shapes like Rhythm and Charm House and Cavalier, more than likely you're not going to find this older pattern on those shapes of the 50s. Republic. I think that's 1943. It's hard to make out. Virginia Rose, one sprig, platinum edge line or platinum trim. No marking. But you don't always need a marking to identify Homer Lachlan wares. We know that this is the Virginia Rose shape from the embossing. We know that this is a Homer Lachlan decal. So don't become too dependent on back stamps. Then we have a grouping here of Century with vellum glaze. There's your one sprig. We have gold edge on the verge. So instead of being a, a gold edge, gold trim on the verge or gold line instead of on the edge. There's the baker, teacup and saucer. The baker gives us the treatment number in this case. And it is from 1943 MS 146. So that stands for M Sellers, a distributor on the West Coast. I believe they were based out of San Francisco. Um, so they carried this as an exclusive. And it gets a special treatment number. One other thing I want to talk about with respect to this decal is its variation there's an upright version. So you have the standard, sort of like a fern-like spray of metal goldenrod, and then there's an upright one, which we see on this century batter jug. This one has some green trim. That's the large sprig. Here's the small one, again in an upright form. And again on wells. Same flowers, same colors. There are fewer treatments of the upright version. We have it on Wells, Ravenna, Orleans, and then three on Century. And it was not produced as long as the standard version. A couple odd things about this treatment. It was used in so many different ways and so many different shapes, but we don't see it on oven serve and kitchen craft, which is a little unusual. Generally, when you have uh, a very popular treatment, think uh, VR128, like Fluffy Rose. Uh, we see it on so many different shapes, it almost always ends up on like oven serve and kitchen craft when you have treatments like that. And it's sort of surprising considering this one was used for JJ Newberry's and uh, even GC Murphy, GCM4, Virginia Rose Two Sprigs with Platinum Trim, was for GC Murphy. Um, there was no co corresponding line of oven serve or kitchen craft. Also, we don't see this pattern on any of the eggshell lines, like swing eggshell, theme eggshell, especially Nautilus eggshell, and so on. Um, so it's pretty much limited to the ivory body shapes. One last thing to look at is that this decal was used as a scrap print on specialty wear quite often. We have a marigold platter. There's a center spray, and then we have some yellow wash trim. And I've talked about specialty wear quite a bit, whether it's the nappies or the platters, uh, that there's going to be an imperfection when you encounter these wash trims. And in fact, there's the imperfection there. If you can see it, it's like a crack that occurred um, before it was fired. Or after it was fired. I should say that happened after it's fired. Um, and then it was decorated accordingly. So instead of going into a marigold set, um, it gets this specialty treatment of a scrap print and this yellow trim. 
1937. Yellowstone vellum. You can probably see all those little black specks in the glaze. So we have another instance where something didn't get used in a standard Yellowstone set. Instead, it's put aside to become a specialty piece with this metal goldenrod. And in this case, gold stamps. Generally, when you have a Yellowstone uh, vellum or century vellum, they didn't use any wash trims on it. Um, more often than not, they used uh, gold stamps. This is from 1937. And then we have a couple nappies. This is our fruit bowl with our fruit border on the inside. The cow's pretty worn on this, but we have a pink wash trim going on here. Uh, 1939. And then theme eggshell. Ordinarily, you do not see this decal on the theme eggshell, but in the case of a specialty piece, um, they're not that hard to find when it comes to these nappies. Again, the decal is pretty faded out and worn, and we see the pink wash trim. And this one comes from 1940. So that's a little bit about Meadow Goldenrod. Very easy to find. You, um, a lot of different shapes uh, spanning from the early 1930s to the early 1950s. Um, and that's going to do it for now.